Hi, Salam Alaikum Takif here. All right, so I was planning to do a first impression video of the new Windows 11 installed on my PC, but during the process, I felt something's kind of off with the idea and every time I always end up writing something like a comprehensive review of the new system, which is not something that I wanted to do. So here's a very, hopefully, short and summarized video of what I feel about the Windows 11 at this moment of time and why I've decided not to review it yet. Because after I posted this on my IG story, I've got a lot of DMs asking me to do a review on the new Windows 11. So, okay. When I first boot up my PC after installing the Windows 11, I was excited and amazed at how clean everything looked and how seamless it actually feels feels compared to the Windows 10. And all the little details like animations when minimizing an open window and the new icons, the new rounded corners, everything, it looks new and it feels fresh to me. But the longer I spend my time with it, the more I couldn't help myself to think that all these new interfaces and the features and the changes that are happening in the Windows 11 would be a better experience with a laptop or a tablet. And here's why I'm saying that. So in case you didn't know, right? So Windows 11 now supports widgets like what the Mac OS does. And now I'm not really a widget guy on a laptop, but I cannot help to think how better my experience would be to pull up the widgets by swiping from the left of my trackpad or simply swipe from the left screen than having you know to press the shortcut keys or having to hover your mouse over to the widget icon in the taskbar. Now, I know I'm not the only one who feels like this, and I bet this is intentional because everything about the Windows 11 screams the touch screen experience. You know, you open the Windows tips, the first thing that pops up is how everything you care about is just a swipe away. And I feel like Microsoft knows how important it is to take their Windows system to suit a mobile device nowadays, like a tablet. And I praise them for that actually, and it's about time. They tried that with, <laughs> with the Windows 8, but you know how, flop the Windows at us, right? So all these extra steps that you will need to do in order to perform some basic stuff as you would in Windows 10, like if you wanna to go to the list of your apps in the start menu, you'll have to click the all apps, or if you wanna check the list of available Wi-Fi, there's an extra step to it compared to how you would do it in the Windows 10. Again, I don't mind really, and to be frank, I'm not complaining, but my point is, some of these features and the way they are designed and the way they are structured and the way we have to interact with the interface, it would be a better experience overall if you are experiencing it on mobile devices than a PC, okay? Like a Windows tablet, for example. And because of that, it's not that I cannot review it, but simply I don't want to until I find a perfect device that will be able to give me the full touch experience of the Windows 11, because it's pretty cool to be honest. And not to mention that I'm waiting for the Amazon App Store, which you can use to run Android apps isn't available yet. So I will hold my Windows 11 review until further notice. And the other reason for me making this video is also I wanna mention that I see a potential for it to be on par with the Mac OS, because you know how the MacBook is designed to make its users connected to the OS through the MacBook. And I've spent a couple of months with the Mac OS and there are some cons that Windows is able to offer. So if the Windows 11 can fill that gaps, I'll be able to ditch my MacBook as my main and buy new Windows for my daily drive. But it has to be through the perfect, or at least like the premium, I can feel the premium ship of the Windows 11 through that device. Now, the overall Windows 11 is great for me. I've got no complaints, no issues during gaming or whatsoever, or maybe not yet. I love how cool all the little things are, like the animations, those things matter to me to make the experience great. But for now, I know this video will probably turn out pretty bad, but I'm just gonna put it out there and see you guys in the next one, hopefully in a more detailed review video. Hit the like button. Okay, that was awkward. I'm just gonna quit this video, bye-bye. <laughs>